Hello? Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Baker. I'm an employee at Twig, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, making Jupyter and Jupyter Lab reproducible using Jupyter With. Um, so if you haven't seen or used Jupyter before, it's this really nice uh, interactive uh, web-based application. Uh, it can have all of your code, your data, and uh, some annotations all in one spot. Uh, so you can see here, like, there's some LaTeX code uh, along with some Python code, and you can have an output. So you have a Lorenz attractor, and then you can, you know, have a Python file. You can also, like, view images. You can view CSV data. You can view GeoJSON data all in one spot. And it's a really nice application for uh, computational research. But if you've ever used it, uh, it's not reproducible. And there isn't really an easy way within the ecosystem to make it reproducible. But with Jupyter With, we can. And it's been around for a while, but we are releasing a new version very soon. Not like nuclear fusion soon, but like in a week or two. Um, <laughs> and the whole goal was to make it easier. You know, we all know that mix can be difficult. Um, and we've got a lot in feedback that our API, you know, our interfaces, requires an intermediate knowledge of Nix to be able to use properly. And we want to bring that barrier down as much as possible. Um, and so that's the goal, is easy, a lot more configuration, a lot more hooks into things that you can change and customize. Um, so like one thing for ease, we are using templates now. Uh, you run a single command to pull down the template, and you can just run Nix run, and you're good, and it should start up. It does come with minimal packages, just what you need to get going. But if you look uh, down here in the bottom left, we're using Poetry now instead of just Nix packages uh, to, so you can add packages that you want. And you just follow the same kind of standard uh, versioning scheme that you have for uh, Python dependencies. And rather than using Nix packages to pull the packages you want, which can be a little difficult, you can just do it with poetry, and you're just good to go. Um, and we're also defining some, some better kernel interfaces. Each kind of kernel before was a little bit unique, and we kind of standardized everything so everything looks the same, which can help you if you want to pull in a kernel that we haven't packaged already for you to just make it yourself. Or you can you know, submit an issue, and we can help you out with that as well. Um, so with that, uh, hoping that everything's going to be easier, we have a few uh, future road plans. Uh, we've got reproducible kernels, but we don't have reproducible extensions. And we want a fully reproducible JupyterLab environment. Um, we want to get away from stateful as much as possible, as we all do. And so that's, that's our next big, next big move is uh, declarative extensions. Uh, with this update, we have focused only on Linux. Uh, but we want to support other platforms, so like we just had earlier, we want to do MacOS as well. Uh, and also, we need feedback, so we want you to use it. Let us know other things we can improve on, other things that we should put on the roadmap. Uh, give it a try. Let us know. You can find it at you know github.com/twig/jupiterwith. And thank you for your time. <laughs>